Hello everybody, welcome back to welcome back to Let's Play Super Smash Bros. RPG. Last time we beat Sephiroth and we think we took over Peach's Castle, but I think it's still under the influence. But let's go in the dungeon and check out what's going on. Peach? Huh, that's where you are. Oh boy, someone has come to save us! No, Belgian is here! He's going to capture us! All of you, shut up! Bowser, what brings you here? Taylor, Bowser, and Cloud tried explaining the situation to Peach. I see. So you three have defeated all the monsters? How could they trust him? He's with Bowser! Yeah, how do you know he won't capture us too? I don't know. I trust them for some reason. Princess, are you insane? This is Bowser we're talking about! Fine, if you don't want me to beat you so badly, then I'll just leave. But I will be back next time. Taylor, before I go, take this block. It will teach you the move Whirling Fortress. Good luck. Taylor has now access to Whirling Fortress. And Bowser also left the party. Oh, it's temporary. Day after day, he becomes more and more confusing. I agree, especially since five years ago. I want to be reminded of that right now, Mario. Regardless, thank you for your help, you guys. Actually, if you could help me with another favor. A portal showed up, and I had a telepathic voice say to me, Allow Taylor to go through this portal. I think you guys should go in. I'm sure we will meet again, too. I guess we could, uh, let's just talk to everyone. I still miss her. Dare I say, I don't know what would happen if we stay captured for a long time. Hopefully Toadette's been making care of the Toad houses since I've been gone. Hey, thanks for saving me. Bowser has been weird since the incident five years ago. Almost like he wants to help people, but it'll ruin his ego. Thank you again for saving Mario, Luigi, and Toadsworth. Me? I'm kind of used to this by now. Ah, uh, I would not have imagined being so captured by some one-winged angel. That was so scary. Thanks for saving me, though. I really appreciate it. You said you were caught by Crazy Head? I don't know if Yes. He and I have quite the history. You probably have your doubts about trusting him. I can assure you that everything will be okay. We're just trying to avoid some major incident, that's all. I'm sure we will meet again. Bye bye! Would you like to go on? There's no going back if you proceed. Screw it, I'm going. Taylor and Cloud ended up in the Mother Universe, landing in some strange forest. Chapter 3, Start of the Merge. Onet Forest. Onet is to the left and then up ahead. Yay, everyone's healed. Yep, this is Onet's theme. I really need to figure out how to get these special backgrounds. Whirling Fortress attacks opponents and lowers defense. Oh no, I'm not fighting those rambling evil mushrooms, but I have to do it for content. that weird status effect that messes up the controls. But I'm not sure how the programmer would do this. But I really need to figure out how to get these animated battle backs in MZ. Or, I know it's possible in MV, but I'm not sure if it's possible in MZ. Like, these earthbound, like, backgrounds. Like, I really need to figure out how to do this myself. I'm surprised we haven't died yet. Yeah we're, yeah, we're a bit powerful, but we might just skip over a few things just to save on content. Might want to go over new enemies, but let's see. Let's just heal up. Oh, crud. I used the wrong item. 
And now we're out of MP healing items, except for the syrups. Edible mushroom? Restores 300 HP. Simple enough. Ah, it's those walk and sprout things that I think have PSI magnet. Mobile sprouts. I keep forgetting how weird Earthbound Battle music is. Eh, regardless. Ooh, presents. A bread roll. Black Antoid. I saw one of those earlier. Let's see what this does. Ah, uh, wait. These are too. These are too powerful. They'll probably just go down in a few hits anyway. We're barely taking any drops of damage. We can just spam normal attacks and just get through the normal fight. And let's see what this item is. Two bread roll. Oh, never mind. It's probably just one bread roll. Yeah, we have. Yeah, it's just one bread roll. For some odd reason, like, all the pickup quotes are just stacked. Wait. Wait, does this go to town? Uh, I'll check in a bit, but I might want to just look around this area and see if there's anything else. Another bread roll. Ah, there's an item. Another bread roll. Yay! I'm just gonna avoid encounters for a bit, just so... Just because, well, I'm stupidly powerful. Oh, this is where I was at when I started and entered here. I'm just gonna fight this rambling evil mushroom. Ah, it's Ness and Paula. That hand told me I was supposed to be waiting for a guy named Taylor. I wonder where he is. Hold on one second. You are Taylor, correct? Thank goodness you've arrived. My friend here was waiting to fight you. He feels like... That you are strong. Isn't that right, Ness? Hmm? Sorry, Ness doesn't talk anymore after he lost his voice in that incident. Anyways, Ness, show him what you got. Alright, let's fight up Ness. Alright, I'm gonna start by lowering his defense and doing a light-based attack on Ness. Wait, that was PSI Rockin', but that was the sound from PK Starstorm. Odd. I think you recognize this music as that meme with what in it. Like, they play this music with something random, and then they just add a picture, like, just... They take a picture of whatever the meme is, and at the bottom of the screen, it's just a piece of text that just says what. It's weird, but it's oddly entertaining. Well, great job. How about we join you on your adventures? The more the merrier. Ness and Paula have joined the party without any accompanying sound effect. Let's look at their skills. Ness has PSI Rockin' and PSI Fire. Paula has PK Fire. And that's about it. Wait, can, wait, can Taylor learn skills? No, not yet. Anyway, let's look around. Why can't I interact with these signs? The item shop. Hello, what can I get for you, dearie? Alright, let's buy some items. Alright, got some items for the journey. The weaponry shop. Let's see what the Frank. Let's see what Frank says. 
Well, Frank is, well, one of the first enemies you fight. It's a major boss in whenever you're in Onet, but it's pretty interesting to fight. He has this cool attack theme. Hmm, Cloud can't equip anything here. I forget this, uh, this in VX Ace, there's no button to just cycle through characters in the equipment menu. Oh, never mind. It's Q and E. I thought it was Q and W for a second. Well, I just bought those for no I bought those weapons for nothing. Some cookies? They're free! Huh. I wonder what cookies do. What do cookies do? 50 HP. So, that'll be more of an outside battle thing, just to round out HP a little. Hey, Ness. Hope you're doing well. Going to be hard at work with my, on a new invention eventually. I'm just gonna grab one of the- I'm just gonna grab this butterfly. I think that healed everyone's MPs. Before you fight this Gengar, I should probably look around on these houses. Well, that's the inn, but I don't need to use the inn right now. The armor shop. Ah! Alright. Let's get this equipment in order. Alright, now we got some armors, but I think we're good on weapons too. Ah. I wonder what Jeff's up to. Well, hello, Ness and Paula. My father has something for me, so I'm staying here in Onet. Maybe I will see you sometime later. I wonder if Winters is here, just like in um, Earthbound. I never see you around these parts. Are you new? Let me give you some advice. When you have more than four party members, the formation option located in the menu... Use the formation option located in the menu to change your team. Well, I do have a system in MZ that allows you to have more or less than four people in your party. I wonder what this Gengar is up to. So, you want to pass through here? Yes. Well, you certainly have a death wish. Give me all you got. <laughs> oh, boy. Wait, I think they're immune to physical attacks. PSI fire, PSI fire. Ooh, it's weak to light damage. Ooh, they're weak to light damage. Alright, blade beam. Alright, that's one enemy down. Bullet climax. Nice. I got a stun. And that's all of them down. Ugh, not bad. Now, time for my final smash! Mega Gengar! Let's bring it all we got! This shouldn't be too hard to do. It's just gonna keep raising his special attack. Alright, just gonna pop another PSI rock, popping a PSI fire. And I'm gonna have to pop a few MP healing items in a bit. Is it just gonna raise its special attack? I have no idea why, but it's gonna just raise its special attack. Uh, I'm just gonna have to pop a syrup for Paula. And that was pretty easy. 
Ooh, level ups! Ooh, Taylor can now use cleave. Cross slash for cloud. That's I think that's his first limit. Ooh, a cup of life noodles. Ugh, I'll get out of your way. You've earned it. Go on ahead. I'm going back to Kanto. 100 coins. A green rambling evil mushroom? Strutting even evil mushroom. I'm just gonna start doing normal attacks. Yeah, that's just easy. Time to fight this rambling evil mushroom now. Oh, oh, eh, that was just a spore. Cloud's just asleep. He'll just wake up after battle. Oh. Apparently, Cloud is still asleep. Uh, where is the... Ah, refreshing herb. There it is. Now he's not sleepy. A stone axe. I think that's an upgrade for... For Taylor. Nice. Oh, you've got an axe. How do you carry that thing around so casually? I don't know. RPG logic. Uh, what are what Pooh's up to? Greetings, friend of Nessapala. I'm Pooh. Please do not laugh at my name. Well, I bet you probably did whenever you played Earthbound for the first time. Yep. Totally relatable in every way aspect possible. No one's here. Alright, everyone's MP has been healed. Well, kind of. But I think this might be enough. Ruins of Alien Step. I think he meant to say Ruins of Giant Step, because that's what this place is already merging. Enemies and items from across the many realms have been combined. I don't recognize this. This is supposed to be Giant Step, but it's different. Whoever Sephiroth is working for is probably the cause of this. We must hurry and stop them quickly. Alright, healing up a little. Uh, let me just get some items to heal up everyone's HPs a little. That should be good. Let's go in this dungeon. Ooh! Looks like someone figured out how to make a dark lighting effect even outside of- Oops. Oops. Alien Step. Uh, Babom, why are you moving this fast? Are you... Uh, what is going on? Why is the bob up this fast? Uh, oh god. Oh, oh, the purple stuff hurts you. Bob. -um. My favorite. Oh, right, it resists physical attacks. You filthy cheat. Ooh, what's this? An unknown. Unknown SBRP. Uh, I'm gonna take a picture of this and see if I can translate it. SSBRP PG exclamation. Oh, it says it's an abbreviation for Super Smash Bros. RPG. Wait, cleave is a normal attack. Sonic wave for everyone. Ooh, it's Cross Slash. We have more area of effect DPS. We need to get a good amount of Confuse. Well, that's not supposed to happen. I don't think that was supposed to happen. I don't think that was supposed to happen in terms of programming. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a bit of damage just to get through that. A cup of life noodles. Ah, hello, Mr. G.U. Dude. Have a good day. Hmm, 
I think it's resistant to physical. Yes, it is because it's a rock. Ooh, nice hit of crit. Easy as pie. Hmm. Maybe I should fight the boss at this area and then call it an episode. Maybe? Let's just explore the area a little more, see if there's anything particularly interesting. Ooh, who's this? Ah, it's a Wimpod. Simple enough, I've already seen this one back at Peach's Castle, I think. Still pretty easy. But still, these things drop good items. Alley in step 2F. Just looking a bit around. I'm not gonna mind these guys because they're barely worth anything in XP. Hello, Mr. Bobum. Time to fight more Bobums. Well, just one Bobum to be specific. Easy as that. Uh-oh. Keep stepping into the purple stuff. Uh, hello? Uh, Flying Mouse and the yeah, Monster. Both of these enemies appear in Mother 3, exclusive to Japan. Ah, Cleave attacks everyone. Barely anyone's taking damage. This is a bit easy, don't you think? Eh, whatever. Eh, whatever. I just hope it doesn't escalate in difficulty, like goes from 1 to 11 in 2 seconds. Ah, uh, here's another ya monster. And Lizalfos? Wait, is this the original Zelda sprite for those? Yeah, those look like the sprite from the original Legend of Zelda, and not something more modern like, say, uh, Wind Waker, or even Breath of the Wild for that matter. <laughs> Who knows? Probably just a design choice or something. I don't know. Eh, whatever. Let's just keep fighting them. Ah, another one of these. Ooh, a Pokeball. I wonder what's in it. It's the Super Smash Bros. RPG unknown. That should take them down pretty easily. Once that Ness hits Pika and Garakin. I wonder what's in it. A max potion. Oh, ooh, a chest. I wonder what's inside. Another Mr. Baseball cap. Yay. Not to mean that sarcastically, but whatever. Where's the stairs? Ruins of Alley and Step. What music is this? Can someone tell me in the comments what this is? I need to... This sounds like it's from Gold and Silver or something. No, wait, this feels like it's Mother 3. I don't know. It's gotta be something you guys in the comments might know. What's going on, but whatever. But I just realized the background's the same one as like the masked man fight in Mother 3. Is there anything behind here? No. Ruins of Valiant Step. Five bread rolls. Time to fight this parasect. All right, let's do this. A lot of damage on that first hit. Easy as that. Ah, the dark effect is back. What's going on? What are the epilepsies for? You think you're clever, huh? Um... But this is the end. M Mr. Starman? Alright, let's do this, Mr. Starman. Five. 
call it Climax. Go to PK Fire. This isn't doing too much damage, but let's reduce his defense to make things a bit easier. What? Well, that was fast. Faster than I expected, I think. Oh, oh a cookie. Um. So that didn't stop you? You are an insect to my plants, Taylor. So Sephiroth and the Star Man couldn't stop you. Quite intriguing. My name is Master Hand. The one who told you to stop me was Crazy Hand, was it not? What an idiot. He thinks this puny little army will stop me? Honestly, I could kill you all myself. But I won't. That would be a waste of time. I'll send four strong warriors of mine to deal with you for now. This will be a cruel smash. Now back off! Watch out, everyone! Red alloy, blue alloy, green alloy, and bl blue alloy. Red, yellow, green, and blue. Yeah, this is this is the background and final destination for Brawl. I'm just gonna reduce the defense of yellow alloy. Go for... Wait, no. I'm gonna have to pop a he MP healing item for Cloud. Um... Uh, where is it? Black Cloud, we'll get that. PSI rockin' for everyone, PSI fire for everyone, and let's go. Ooh, things have ramped up quite a bit. Hollow took a decent hit of damage. Wait, I wonder if we're supposed to die or something. Mm, not that it ma- I'm not sure if it matters yet, but I'm just gonna just keep going and see how things go. Yes, I fire. Uh, I'm just gonna have to pop a healing item, like a, a refreshing herb. Let's see if the, I'm gonna cure for Ness. Five. Three, four. One, two, three, four. What the? Mario cape? Well, what's going on? I think uh, the yellow alloy represents Mario. Red is for Captain Falcon. I think uh, blue is for Zero Suit Samus, and I know green's for Kirby. Wait, I think this music plays in like the Subspace Emissary when selecting a level. Four, five. Oh boy, Ness is burned. Uh, I probably should start curing everyone's ailments. Three, four. Yeah, I need to start curing everyone. I'm just gonna spend this turn healing. This is... Yeah, this is the Subspace Emissary level select music. Again. Alright, I'm gonna have to pop another magic healing item for Cloud. PSI fire. PSI fire. Cloud's HP is back. Cloud's MP is back up, I mean. That's one of the three alloys down. Nice, a bird. Yep, yellow alloy is Mario. Alright, second alloy down. That's the third one. One to go. Easy as pie. I think everyone's healed. Hopefully this is early enough. Ooh, Ness can now use PK Thunder. That was close, but we must keep going. Come on, everyone. Ruins of Allnet?
Pilot City. I think this is a good point to just end this episode right here. It's been 30 minutes for recording, but whatever. This is Windy Wear Inc. signing off for next time.